Yeah, I did take Hey Boy, Hey Girl down. No, I'm not putting the motherfucker back up. Not fucking never. I fucking deleted it. And let me tell you why I fucking deleted it. I'll tell you right fucking now. The reason I took that song down is because the person that's featured on it don't fucking deserve to be on it. And don't deserve to have me keep it up. I'm not fucking keeping it up. You know why? Because you tried to fucking wow me this morning. And I'm about to tell everybody about it. Me and other person have been dating for two months. She came to me one night when we were riding around in my Mustang and she told me she was in love with me. Now, me being friends with Katie for so long kind of threw me off, especially with her best friend who's always with her. I thought them two were a thing. Guess they're not. So, Katie tells me she loves me or whatever, and then we get into, get into our intimate relationship. It's been like two months. We've had sex multiple times. She's spent the night at my house multiple times. I spent the night at her house multiple times. She's been around my family. I've been around her family. I mean, we, it's, we've been together for two months now and we, we've, we've, we've met each other. We've, we've slept at each other's houses. We've slept with each other. I mean, she's got her shit here. I painted the fucking house for her. I put hardwood floors in this motherfucker. I get new fucking furniture. I fucking do everything to make sure everything's right for her. Right for her. She gets here. She likes riding four-wheelers. She wants four-wheelers. Fuck yeah, we go get four-wheelers. She wants a Can-Am. We ride Can-Ams. Oh, we'll go get a Can-Am. That money shit don't matter, but I'm just telling you how I feel about this girl. Like, how I looked at this girl. I looked at this girl like she was everything, and she just fucking shit on me this morning for no goddamn reason. And I'm fucking mad, and I'm not gonna not say nothing. Because she is trying to say shit about me that is horrible that never should be said about anybody that don't actually fucking do what I'm about to tell you. She tells me this morning she feels disgusted and violated, and I think she even used the word molested, and all this other shit, all right? She drove six fucking hours from North Carolina to my house because she's my girlfriend, right? Gets here at 4 o'clock in the morning. That's fucking logged with the guard. They have to log everybody that comes in. Everybody comes out. She came here like four something in the morning. Okay? She walks in. Sits in the living room for a minute. Everybody sits in the living room watching videos. What the fuck ever. She lays down, grabs her little fucking weighted blanket. She's got, she's got this uh, blanket that's kind of heavy. She lays it on her or whatever. She starts laying down. Keith versus is like, hey, I'm going to sleep. I say, yeah, I'm feeling like going to sleep too. So... Me and Katie come upstairs into this fucking bed. We lay down. I stayed awake to make sure she fucking got here, okay? Because she's telling me, oh, I'm shotgun and bangs. Oh, I'm tired, da, 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 whatever. So I stay awake for her to get here to make sure she gets here, okay, right? All right, cool. Well, she gets here. They watch videos and shit downstairs. We're all sitting with each other. Fucking Kiefer goes to bed, sleeps in my fucking living room right underneath me. Ripta is right here, right underneath me. Fucking floors are paper thin. You can hear anything in the hole. They can hear me right now yelling in the room. She lays down on the bed in her, in her fucking, she had some pants on, fucking socks, my fucking a shirt. 